Hi everyone, I'm Jane, welcome to your fitness tips. Today I'm going to show you a really nice stretchy exercise. It's really simple and it's really good for spinal mobility, so for getting the vertebra moving laterally sideways. So typically a lot of people do their back in reaching for the seat belt because their body is not used to that kind of movement, so it trains your body to do that really nicely. It stretches out the backs of your legs and your inner thighs as well and it improves posture. So it's a win-win exercise, it's a really lovely one. Now you'll see I've got this here, this is a, a yoga block um, which I'm going to start by sitting on. You could sit on anything, you could sit on a cushion or a couple of towels, it doesn't have to be a block but the idea of it is that your bottom when you start this exercise is a little bit higher than your feet. Okay, so you sit on your block and you try and lengthen through your spine as much as possible, so try not to collapse. Try and lift yourself up, draw your belly button in, and then take your arms to the side and very gently pull your shoulder blades back. So this is your start position. You've got to imagine you've got a pool cue going across the back of your arms, which means you can't go like this, all right? So the movement's going to be through the spine. So we're going to turn to one side, keeping those arms on that imaginary pool cue and then holding onto your belly button, pulling it in, reach either for your calf muscle, if you're not as flexible that's absolutely fine, or reach further down towards your foot and take your forehead down towards your knee. By the way you'll notice a really nice stretch in your lower back as well. It's another bonus of this exercise, I'm going to come back up, rotate, and reach. Now you'll be amazed, I promise you, when you first do this, you'll think, I can't do this, it's too hard. But if you practice, it gets easier so quickly, I promise you. And even just in one practice session, you'll get further down towards your legs. Say you did 10 on each side, by the 10th one, you'd be getting closer down. I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the block. So without the block, I have to work a little bit harder now through my core section to stay lifted because it's much more tempting to start to collapse. So I'm going to work and stay lifted, same thing, I'm going to rotate and exhale over, breathe in and hold, exhale up, inhale, hold, exhale, rotate, breathe in, breathe out and reach across. Now when you're touching your foot or your leg, Give your body an extra little pull down. So go to the point where you can naturally go and then pull. Use your hand and pull. So you assist your stretch. I'm gonna do one more. I could carry on with this all day. This is one of my favorite stretches. So I hope you enjoy that as much as I do, guys. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.